Hey guys and welcome back to Shares Cool Beans and in today's video we are going to be talking about what to expect during your first few weeks on your PGCE course whether that be Schools Direct, Skit or just a PGCE itself. Um, it's a few weeks to go, I think it's about a week and a half. I start my ECT year in a week and a half and I'm so 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 nervous so I thought why not just make some videos to take the nerves away and help you guys ouch I just banged my finger that's not going to help at all um so before we start please remember to like comment and subscribe and also follow me on my teaching instagram at miss.coolbeans it's going to be a tough but fulfilling year and I hope to take you on my ECT journey too if you're interested so let's get started on this video <laughs> Okay, so you've gone through the interview process, you've got your acceptance letter, acceptance letter or on UCAS, I forgot how it actually happened with me, I'd have to like watch back on a video or something, but um, you're feeling very nervous and you're wondering what to expect during your first few weeks on your PGCE. So with a PGCE, I know that you are in a few lectures in the beginning of the um, term and that's if you're doing a PGCE, however if you're doing a skit or schools direct you will be starting at school straight away um however if you are doing a skit and you have training let's say on a thursday and a friday like i did your first few lectures will definitely be on classroom management so behavior management what rewards you should be giving out obviously in line with the school policy and um how to establish that teacher presence as well which is so 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 important so that's what your um first few lectures will probably be about um however when you step into the classroom i know that's what most of you are thinking about when you first start in your classroom you won't be thrown in straight away um for some reason loads of people think that they'll just be teaching from like the first or second day and that is not the case at all you're most probably going to be observing quite a few lessons and this is completely down to how many lessons you'd like to observe um and also in accordance with like how many lessons you have to observe on your training plan so um if you're working in key stage one there may be a heavy focus on um phonics observing phonics lots of schools use different schemes like monster phonics read write income many others so it's so so good if you could observe and get acquainted with those some of you have been asking me how to observe a lesson like what things should you look out for um you should definitely look out for like the sort of um schedule of the lesson so um, does the lesson start with a 10 minute starter then does it go into written work then does it go into um, carpet activities and so on so just break down the timeline of the lesson so that when you actually get to teaching in let's say a month or so you know how to time your lessons well as well um, also you'll be obviously observing the main core subjects such as English and maths which is heavy in key stage two and it's nice to go into different year groups you will be given that chance go into different year groups to kind of um, get to know how to talk to different age children um, if a children doesn't understand something how you may clarify don't worry you're not just going to be given a notebook and expect to just, just write every single thing that happens in a lesson if you'd like to do that you can but in my instance I was actually given a lesson observation sheet which was broken down into sections and that kind of structured my observation and what to look out for um, you may feel a bit nervous like going into classrooms and just saying can I observe you or just going into the staff room and saying can I observe like a random teacher but it's absolutely fine teachers are very very happy to let you sit on in a lesson they may actually ask you to help out as well so once the children go on um go to their tables to start uh doing their actual activities the teacher may ask you to just like sit with a particular table so it's really nice to get to go around the school and actually have a feel for what goes on every single day so I know it may sound daunting 
daunting but it's actually really not teachers are not going to be like no you can't observe me they may say hmm can you observe me like in a couple of days because they might have something they may want to plan something for you to see but no teacher is going to be like no you can't observe me it really is not like that so on your first day i actually should have started with this first on your first day you're most likely going to be just getting to know the children in your classroom getting to know your mentor and it's going to be really really easy really laid back really chilled like i said before you're not going to be thrown in straight away it'll probably start with you introducing yourself to the children and there'll probably be a few icebreaker activities planned just like what would happen on a transition day there's usually no work that goes on on the very first day from my experience so you'd probably be able to like take a group out to read a book or something really really fun um if your if your school has teachers going out to supervise on playground duty you may have a chance to do that and it will be really nice to get the um get to know the children a little bit informally um we didn't have that at my first placement it was the tas that would be out on the playground um during playtime but um still it's just a really easy going day to get to know your children and make sure in the morning i'm not sure how it works in your particular schools but if you're allowed to go out and like you know where the kids line up to come in just get to know the parents have like a quick minute chat just to introduce yourself hi my name is i'll be training in your students class and i'm really looking forward to it if you have any questions let me know you know just make it known to the parents who you are also so your first days out the way um you may start with some observing which i spoke about in the beginning of this video but what should you also expect in a classroom remember this is only the first couple of weeks so you're not going to be thrown straight in to teaching um you may be asked to uh, lead a story time for like 10 or 15 minutes which is a really nice chance to get to know the children so they could be all sat on a carpet in front of you while you read a story and you could be asking them questions making the story personal to you so you may lead little group activities like that also if the children are um, working on maths english phonics anything really you may be asked to take out a small group of children just to um work on their work with them and also it's really nice to start sort of asserting yourself as, as a teacher when you're working in small groups um what else may you be doing probably just assist in the classroom just how a ta would assist in a classroom and um, that's what you may be doing during the first couple of weeks just so you can get your foot in the door and kind of get used to the everyday routine that happens in the classroom so if some of you are experienced in schools before or you may feel really excited and just may want to get your foot into it, you can ask to teach a starter lesson or even half of a lesson. I remember I done my first math starter maybe a week and a half into my PGCE and it was absolutely terrifying. It was what I was observed on first. I think I've got a video somewhere so you can look for that on YouTube um but yeah you may um ask your mentor or they even they may even ask you to just teach a 10 minute starter for maths or literacy or something and i'm not gonna lie it, it will feel very nerve-wracking standing up in front of the whole class and having to teach but as long as you fake it till you make it the children aren't going to know you're nervous children are very oblivious to these things unless you're kind of in the old years like year five and six i was in year three so it wasn't as bad but yeah just fake it till you make it make sure you look over the starter before you actually teach it and just get your foot in the door by just doing 10 minutes those 10 minutes are going to feel extremely long but once you build up that teaching stamina a starter will be absolutely nothing so yeah maybe just pace yourself and start with um a math start or a literacy start or something like that hmm what else should you expect i think you you should expect lots and lots and lots of information there's going to be so much information from school policies to like 
what assessment should be taking place to even the everyday school routine. So you do have to be very, very organized. Get yourself a lovely teaching planner and make sure you just write down everything. Make sure you have the um, school day timetable maybe stuck at the front of your planner so you can just get used to it in the first couple of weeks. And also make sure you have a to-do list. Even though you may not be printing, the teacher may ask you to just prepare a few resources not to actually plan a lesson but um in the morning they may ask you to just print out something for them or can you just bring some paints down from the resources room so start to um build on your organization skills by just writing mini to-do lists and prioritizing what you should be doing first um your university alone may give you paperwork to fill out um i remember i had to fill out um like it was like um, a document on all of the experience that I have that may be relevant to teaching so that when um, I actually get my foot in, my training plan was kind of tailored to how much experience I already had. So you will be filling out things like that. Um, also expect it to be a little hard it is going to take some time to adjust to but make sure you just familiarize yourself with every single person in the school well not every single person in the school but you know the staff in the school you know just put on a friendly smiley happy face even though you may be shaking inside and if you have any questions i'm sure people will be really really happy to help that leads me on to something else i forgot to say when you're actually in the classroom over those first couple of weeks make sure you're just being really helpful to your teacher um, not your teacher but your mentor your class teacher whoever it is because that may come back well good karma in that sense may come back to you so by that I mean say your mentor is supposed to be on playground duty why not offer to just do playground duty for them just say oh can I do playground duty it'll be a nice chance for me to get to know the children and even some of the children in the older years and they may be like oh thank you so much like I, I had to mark some books anyway or just be really helpful around the class can I hand these out for you would um do you want me to take a few children out just let your um mentor know how eager and helpful you are to actually learn and do this training course because further down the line when things may get a little bit tougher let's say in terms of planning and you go to ask your mentor you might say oh do you mind just planning this last lesson for me I'm finding it really difficult they will definitely remember that and they'll probably be like sure I don't mind I'll plan that last lesson for you so things will always come around to you if you give good to others um, so I hope this video helped about what to expect during your first few weeks of teacher training. If you have any further questions on that, you can comment down below or you can message me on Instagram at miss.coolbeans. I hope this video was helpful and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.